Interpreting the GEMDAS Rule The order that we use to simplify expressions in mathematics is called the order of operations. It is the sequence in which a problem is solved. Without this order, it is possible that we could all get different answers. Just take a look at these two examples. In the first example, following the order of the given numbers, 6 plus 5 equals 11, times 4 equals 44, minus 2 equals 42. In the second example, if we are to start with the numbers inside the parentheses, followed by the numbers outside the parentheses, that would be 5 times 4 equals 20. So 6 plus 20 equals 26. Minus 2 equals 24. That's why it is necessary that right order of operations must be followed. The order of operations comes in what we call the GEMDAS rule. First is G, which stands for grouping symbols. Work out all groupings from inside to out. Second is E, which stands for exponents. Third is M and D, which stand for multiplication and or division, whichever comes first from left to right. Fourth is A and S, which stand for addition and or subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. Group symbols like parentheses, brackets, and braces are used to group numbers or variables. This helps to establish the order used to apply math operations. Example 1, 3 plus 7 minus 2 times 5 minus 9 divided by 3 equals blank. Following the GEMDAS rule, first step is to work inside the group symbol. So that's 3 plus 7 equals 10. Second is do the multiplication. So that's 2 times 5 equals 10. Third is do the division. So that's 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Fourth is do the addition. So that's 10 plus 10 equals 20. Fifth step is do the subtraction. So that's 20 minus 3 and the answer is 17. Example 2. 4 divided by 4 plus 2 to the third power times 2 equals blank. Following the GEMDAS rule, first step is do the exponent. So that's 2 to the third power equals 8. Second is do the division. So that's 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Third is do the multiplication. So that's 8 times 2 equals 16. Fourth step is do the addition, so that's 2 plus 16, and the answer is 18. Example 3, 28 divided by 4 plus 3 times 4 squared minus 5 equals blank. Following the GEMDAS rule, first step is to work inside the group symbol, starting with the innermost. So that's 28 divided by 4 equals 7. Second is to continue working with the group symbol. So that's 7 plus 3 equals 10. Third is do the exponent. So that's 4 squared equals 16. Fourth is do the multiplication. So that's 10 times 16 equals 160. Fifth step is to do the subtraction. So that's 160 minus 5, and the answer is 155. 